Our first guest is a world-renowned juggler that the New York Times calls one of the most enjoyable performers to watch. I, I like that. I agree. Uh -huh. Today, Marcus Monroe is here to give us a sneak peek of his latest one-man show. Marcus, Marcus, welcome to our eyes. Yeah. There he goes. Yeah, you're tall. Whoa. Whoa. Yeah. Marcus, whoa. Well, yeah. Mar you, you got to take us back to your <laughs> high school, my high school days. guidance counselor. And I mean, do you say, I want to be a juggler? Well, How do you become a juggler? Yeah, I learned when I was nine years old, and I just taught myself from the klutz book. Is and that then, right? Yeah, that's right. And then I just worked my way up. I knew it was always what I wanted to do ever since I was like, yeah, I went to the middle school, high yeah. school. Like people were like picking career paths in college, and I always knew what I wanted to do. Most likely just to play be catch a juggler. With myself. <laughs> yeah. So what did your parents yeah. make of that? They're awesome with it. They were. They said okay. Yeah, my dad actually was the principal of the high school I went to, <laughs> and he doesn't work there anymore, so I can tell this story now. But he let me like take his car during school hours and go practice juggling, and then come back. Are you serious? Wow. Yeah, yeah. So they've supported care. you this entire time. Of course, yeah. So your you make it sound like it's like a bad thing to want no. to be a juggler. Well, like, you know when you tell your parents you want to run off and join the circus, right. they're like, you can't do that. No, I wouldn't but do that. You wouldn't do that. No. That's ridiculous. <laughs> That's stupid. He is making yes. a living as a juggler. In That's fact. right. So how did you juggle your way to the top of this industry? Because the New York uh, Times doesn't dole out the New York like that. Yeah, that was really nice. Yeah. It's just uh, just be getting out there and doing as much as I can. I do shows like in every type of venue you can think of. And uh, my new show at Joe's Pub, which mm -hmm. is tomorrow night at yes. 7.30 in New York City, is called I Am Famous, and it's my pursuit uh, to becoming the first famous juggler. Because there's, when you think about it, there's like never been one. I can't, there's never yeah, been a I famous juggler, but there's people famous now for like having a bunch of kids all at once, yeah. or for tanning a lot, <laughs> right? or for suing Jay-Z. Exactly. Right? <laughs> That's true. So how is this pursuit of fame as a juggler going for you? It's, it's harder than I thought it was going to be. Yeah. Like I'm thinking maybe I should have picked something else if I wanted to be famous. But my goal has never been to be famous. But I feel like I'm kind of like a pioneer. Okay. You well, know? you're dubbed the rock star of jugglers. Yeah. I, mean, I don't you've know only what been that here. means, but like, cause like I don't play music. Yeah. Okay. But like, but I don't you've know. got rock it's star cool, swag. I guess so. Yeah. Like, I I don't know. You perform I mean, to big audiences, like I do. in China. Can you talk about the biggest audiences you perform the for? The biggest audiences. I did like a, an arena. Like at a, I did like a halftime show at a at a NBA game yeah. in Milwaukee Bucks. That was like 18,000 people. Nice. But then I've opened for bands like Cake and that was like 3,000 people. Wow. Uh, yeah. Now but, what's the coolest thing you've ever juggled? Because it's not just oh, pins the coolest for you. Thing. Yeah. I just, you, I just, you work with flames. I do a well. lot of fire and stuff. Yeah, you Google my name, you'll see a lot of uh, the crazy stuff I do. I put like fireworks on my head and juggle exploding items. Wow. It's just fun. Like, but it's also like the presentation of it. Mm -hmm. You know, it's not because like you can watch juggling for like all day long, right. and it's still just throwing and catching. But it's like what you do that makes it interesting. You know what I mean? Around it, the spectacle. The spectacle. Yes. Is exactly. it meditative for you? Because there is something cool about just. Uh, is it, can you zone out when you're doing? Yeah, that? I can totally. Zone yeah. out. I can totally zone out. I don't ever really do it to like relax or chill out myself. Mm -hmm. I do it more just to something to do. Yeah. But uh, I know there's people that have done it for that reason. Yeah. Yeah. Right. You have done a lot of uh, I guess kids programming and teen programming. I did. Um, yeah. You, when I was younger. You're yeah. like a big kid. You yeah. know. Yeah. But uh, your show is an adult show, so just that's qualify right. that maybe <laughs> yeah. it's not for kids. This is that's another thing about this show is it's definitely not for kids. Why? Uh, what are you juggling at the show? You have to come and see. <laughs> you got to come. Bring your man. You can I come. Will. Bring your wife. It'll be great. <laughs> <laughs> It'll be awesome. I don't want to be presumptuous. Or your girlfriend. Whatever. Whatever well, it is. Well, whoever. Yeah. Boyfriend. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Cool. Girlfriend. Don't yeah. touch. No, it's, yeah. it's fine. Bring you guys should all come. We're gonna, he's going to be juggling a whole lot of people at your show. That's fine. That's, right. <laughs> That's fine. Yeah, please all come. Right. Speaking, great. Right, swinging and juggling. Show all us right, something. Here, I'll show you a trick. Can I stand up here yeah. and do oh. some? Ooh. Whoa. Oh, yeah. Ooh. Oh, yeah. Ooh. Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. Oh, oh. Hey. K kids, hey. don't try this at home. Wow. Yes. Nice. nice. Oh, yeah. Here's uh, one more. One more. Oh. There it is. Oh, I, I didn't mean to. There That's it is. Okay. No, no one's going to come. Let me try again. One All more right. time. No, no, no. <clears throat> it's okay. There you go. Oh. <laughs> it's me. I'm She's sorry. She's making him Wait, nervous. Can you show me something no. while you're doing yeah, this? Yeah, hold on one second. Okay. Uh. Oh, yeah. 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 That's it. That's it. Yeah. Yeah. Whoa. No. Nice. Yeah. That's it. That's, That's it. what I'm talking about. Yeah, you okay. can try it if you want to. Okay, what do I Let's do? Let's see what you're going to do. So you want to just you know throw what? this one up, and uh -huh. then it's going to spin around, and then you're going to, before it comes to this hand, then you throw this one up, and you're just going to spin around. Before it gets to this hand, you're going to want to throw this one up, 
and it's going to spin around. And then if you want, you can bounce it on your forehead, oh, yeah. and it'll fall back. And then before it hits the ground, <laughs> you'll kick it up. It normally takes three tries for okay. that one. Well, I'm there. just going to sit back down. What you going to do? Hey. You can do it. <laughs> this is awesome. There I've never been to a four camera shoot before. There's so many cameras here. I've been to a three camera shoot, but there's like four cameras How's here. This? Well, you worked it. There you go. That's, there you that's go. one. Okay. That's so there now, you, go. you want to try two? Right. Now here, you take that one. <laughs> One's all you need, never really. Find <laughs> as long as you live. What is happening? I have no idea. You have no idea. <laughs> no, but uh, yeah, this is good. Have we're you, we're trying to get in on the show. I want you to come to the show. All right, so tell so us, tell us where, some more. Yes, yeah, we got to know where to find it. Joe's Pub tomorrow night, okay. at 425 Lafayette, right in like Astor Place. All right. Downtown, New York City, 7:30. Yeah. Tickets are only twenty dollars. There's nice. like seven tickets left. All right. And are you going on the road? What are you going to do beyond this? Yeah, New York I'm going to tour this show. Tour this show called I Am Famous. We're going to tour it. More information. There's also the Twitter, Marcus Monroe at Twitter. All right. Well, Twitter. the Twitter. Twitter. Oh, wait a minute. Twitter. We're saying goodbye to David Letterman tonight. And yeah. you have performed on the I show. I was on David Letterman. What's your yeah. memory of your time with uh, David Letterman? Well, Willie Nelson was on as well. Uh -oh. Uh -oh. So I'm a juggler. So I'm <laughs> connect the dots there. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Did you juggle so, the. I didn't juggle it, no, no. <laughs> but I had a lot of cookies and okay. it was contact, contact. And on that note, Marcus, you're a trip. We like Thanks. you. Come we back love anytime. You. I'd love to. I'd love to be the juggling correspondent on this show. Well, you've got a job, my well, friend. Let's do a three a three way juggle okay. on the way out. All One, right. two, three. Yeah, you're watching a Rise Entertainment 360. There you go. Woo! There it is. <laughs> we'll be right back. Juggle that. Yeah, juggle that. <laughs>